Well, Christy Lustart joins me now from Hong Kong with more. Hi, Christy, what can you tell us? Hi, Robin. Well, you know, compared to the United States and Europe, much of East Asia has been able to keep a check on this virus. But as the region grapples with a new wave of infection, we've seen Japan and South Korea over the weekend posting new records in daily coronavirus cases. Over the weekend, Japan surpassed 3,000 daily new cases of COVID-19, a first for the nation in this punishing pandemic. And the infection is worsening there as a cold and dry winter sets in, particularly hitting hard areas like Hokkaido. Now, CNN has learned that the government in Japan will be holding a task force meeting today to discuss countermeasures to control the outbreak, including the possible exclusion of Tokyo and Nagoya from a domestic travel incentive scheme. Now, meanwhile, over the weekend, South Korea reported its record high in daily coronavirus cases um, over the weekend, posting 1,030 new cases of COVID-19, the vast majority of those cases in the Seoul metropolitan area on Saturday the South Korean president, Moon Jae-in, mobilized the nation's military, police, and medical workers in order to get a, a, a lid on this outbreak. Uh, we also heard from the South Korean president on Sunday. He described it as a, quote, emergency situation, and also added that if the situation doesn't get better there, South Korea will have to issue its first level three alert. Take a listen to this. <laughs> It is a very serious and emergency situation. There is nowhere to back down. It is a desperate time to devote all efforts to stop the spread of corona by focusing all quarantine capabilities and administrative power. Unless the outbreak can be contained now, it has come to a critical point to consider escalating the social distancing measures to the third level. Now, if South Korea issues a level three alert, again, that would be the first time in the history of this pandemic for the country. It would mean a ban on social gatherings of more than 10 people. It would also mean work from home for everyone except essential workers. Now, the struggles of what South Korea and Japan are going through right now underscores the challenge that the world is facing and will continue to face until there is a vaccine that is widely available. Until then, governments will have to do what Tokyo and Seoul are doing right now, constantly recalibrate celebrating, readjusting policy, and finding ways to push back and to fight this virus over and over and over again. Robin. Yeah, and just before you go, how did it get this bad in Japan in particular? Well, in Japan, the infection there is widespread. It's not just in a cluster. It's not just in Tokyo. It's in all the major cities in Japan, in Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, elsewhere in places like Hokkaido as well. And there is a lot of political pressure on Japan's new prime minister, Suga, right now. In fact, we've seen his approval ratings fall some 20 points. The pressure is on him and his government to see if he can continue to shore up the nation's economy while preventing more mass deaths from taking place in Japan. Back to you, Robin.